Superficial Muscles of the Trunk, Dorsal View. In this video, we will identify the superficial muscles of the dorsal trunk in the cat and illustrate the homologous muscles in the human. We begin on the dorsal side. The two large muscles that cover the dorsal surface of the cat are the trapezius and latissimus dorsi muscles. The trapezius muscle originates from the mid-dorsal line, specifically from the nuchal crest of the occipital bone and the spinous processes of the cervical and thoracic vertebrae. There are three portions of the trapezius muscle identified and named for their area of insertion. From cranial to caudal, they are the clavotrapezius, which originates cranially and inserts on the clavicle. The acromiotrapezius, which originates from the lower cervical and upper thoracic vertebra and inserts on the acromion and metacromion process of the scapula. And finally, the spinotrapezius, which originates from the lower thoracic vertebra and inserts on the spine of the scapula. Note that in the cat, the boundaries between the three portions of the trapezius are distinct, and thus these muscles are named as three individual muscles, the clavotrapezius, the acromiotrapezius, and the spinotrapezius. The same three regions occur in the human trapezius, but there are no clear boundaries between them. Thus, the muscle is named as a single muscle. Now, let's look at the latissimus dorsi, which is caudal to spinotrapezius. It originates from the thoracolumbar fascia, the aponeurosis covering the lumbar vertebra, this broad, flat muscle covers most of the back and extends cranially to insert on the proximal humerus. Latissimus dorsi has a similar appearance, location, and function in humans as it does in the cat. Now, let's review the deltoids. In a cat, Three individual muscles are homologous to the three regions of the deltoid muscle in humans. These three muscles in the cat are identified and named for their area of origin. From cranial to caudal, they are the clavodeltoid, which originates from the clavicle and forms the superficial muscle covering the cranial surface of the arm. The clavodeltoid in the cat inserts on the proximal ulna. The acromiodeltoid, a small triangular muscle, just caudal to clavodeltoid, which originates from the acromion of the scapula and inserts on the proximal humerus. And the spinodeltoid, which originates from the spinous process of the scapula and inserts on the proximal humerus. So to review, the three portions of the deltoid in the cat are clavodeltoid, acromiodeltoid, and spinodeltoid. In humans, the deltoid muscle also originates from the clavicle, acromion, and spine of the scapula. The three parts of the human deltoid insert on the proximal humerus at the deltoid tuberosity. In the cat, be careful not to confuse the three deltoid muscles which cross the shoulder, clavo, acromio, and spinodeltoid, and are named for their area of origin, with the three trapezius muscles, which are located on the back and named for their area of insertion, clavotrapezius, acromiotrapezius, and spinotrapezius. 
The last superficial muscle to be identified is the levator scapulae ventralis. This thin, strap-like muscle is located in the triangular space between the chromiotrapezius and clavotrapezius. Levator scapulae ventralis inserts on the scapular spine and extends cranially deep to clavotrapezius to originate on the base of the skull. The levator scapulae ventralis has no homologue in humans. Let's review the superficial muscles of the trunk. The trapezius muscle consists of the clavotrapezius, the acromiotrapezius, and the spinotrapezius. Again, here is the latissimus dorsi. The deltoids consist of clavodeltoid, the acromiodeltoid, and the spinodeltoid. And finally, here is the levator scapulae ventralis. This completes our review of the superficial muscles of the trunk on the dorsal side of the cat.